Now, the campaign group Just Stop Oil is continuing its protests in Westminster. Now, the group, which is aiming to block all future licensing of fossil fuel projects, also blocked four bridges across the Thames and has vowed to return to Westminster every day until its demands are met. Well, Sky's Emma Birchley has been talking to some of the protesters. Well, we're currently walking down the middle of Whitehall, which has been blocked by the civil resistance campaign group Just Stop Oil. They have launched an autumn of action and urging people to gather at 11am every day at Downing Street for this kind of protest, blocking the traffic, civil resistance. I'm joined now by Alex de Koenig, who's one of these, uh, the, the supporters and spokespeople of this group. I'm, Tell me, I mean, what's the point of this? Why are you blocking Whitehall? Um, history has shown that in order to get the radical change that we need at, um, on the timescale that we have, civil resistance is the best form of method. Um, and of course, there's an enormous amount of frustration for people, though, people beeping their horns, you know, they are angry because they can't get to where they need to be. They might have important places to go. Of course, yeah. Um, but I'm not a politician. I don't need to rely on votes. I don't need to rely on popularity. All I want is change to happen because if we don't get change, things like 33 million people being flooded in Pakistan and being displaced from their homes, that's going to come more and more frequent. By eight years, the heat wave that India and Pakistan happened, uh, had, uh, where it was so hot that birds fell out of the sky and thousands upon thousands of people died, that's going to start happening in over 90% of countries every second year in just eight years' time. We have eight years of oil in reserve. This has never been a better time to transition. It was 40 degrees in London. So hot that train tracks spontaneously combusted. So <laughs> there was floods here, so people couldn't get to work. Um, London Heathrow had its tarmac melted, so planes couldn't take off. There's so many forms of disruption from the climate crisis, but the media only ever focus on this kind of disruption. We're only going to be here for a short amount of time. The people who are being really affected are the people who... The people in Pakistan, for example, 33 million people, six times the population of Scotland, my country, have just permanently disrupted, um, displaced from their homes. It's just, when we put things into context and we realise how little the government is doing and how much that they could be doing, there's almost no reason why everybody shouldn't be here on the streets right now. We're here outside the Houses of Parliament. How do you make them MPs in there listen? By coming back here every single day demanding change, because that is what we need. We're going to be here for at least a month. Please come and join us. OK, Alex, thank you very much. Yeah, so more protests planned until about the middle of November.